Hi, welcome back to part four of Young Team from Mogwai. Um, I'm listening to this on CD, but splitting it up as if it was on vinyl. So the vinyl edition is spread over four sides. So therefore the video is gonna be spread over four sides, uh, four parts even. Um, so this is now the final part. We've got two songs left, uh, songs, not sure if that's the, quite the right word, two tracks left. We have got, let's get the glasses so I can see what we're doing. Uh, a cheery wave from stranded youngsters. Hello, hello, how are you? And then Mogwai, Fear Satan. Not the only ones, I tell you, I tell you. Um, right, uh, I think we're ready to go. Let's do this. Uh, where's the play button? There it is. Three, two, one. seat um, if you're not a musician you may not know what that is so it's a just a regular CD that you can load into your song player it's actually full of um, uh, well, this one this particular one I had was uh, called filthy messed up beats or something but it had uh, drums like this that have been sort of recorded and sent through all manner of effects and bit crushers and distortion units and overdrives and all sorts of things making this really low-fi drum sound. It sounds incredible by the way. Just reminds me very much of that. There we go. That's the first track out of the way, which must mean it's time to fear Satan. After the middle refrain in um, The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, it starts to come back in again. It's the same guitar. The mariner, he wished he'd die. It's a lovely little rhythm, that. Again, another, in my, uh, you may know about my old band, Hayes. I posted a, a video about them maybe a year ago. I was listening to a couple of their old tracks. We had a song called Echo Stir, which sounded very much like this. And none of us, I don't think, heard or knew Mogwai, so it's a complete coincidence. But even my drum part was a little bit like this, and I'd certainly never heard this.
This is cool. I think we're in for a, a long ride with this one. It's a 16 minute track. Oh, oh. Really, really, really liking this track. I think this is so good. We we're going through, um, say we were, I was going through a lot of the um, influences yesterday when I did the first two halves, first two halves, first two, first two videos. And um, they're talking about sort of all the usual suspects. But another one I want to add into the mix is the Jesus and Mary chain. The pioneers of feedback, or creative use of feedback, and noise. I can only imagine how exciting this would be to see this live. Oh man, I'm... I'm getting so many these pimply um, hairs on my arm, but it's reminding me so much of the music that I was listening to 
15 years ago that I've kind of moved away from it now. But a lot of indie stuff. Las Vegas. Drumming is fantastic. Only halfway through. album for me.
absolutely beautiful. I really ought to be trying to give some sort of running commentary, shouldn't I? But uh, sometimes I just really want to be enveloped by the music. to think how many guitar pedals were spread out on the floor when they were recording this. Dozens, absolutely loads and loads of them. I love the sound, the mad, crazy, distorted noise. I think it's uh, just beautiful. I think we are fast approaching the end. I think we're finished. That's it. Well, 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 Richard M. and everybody else who's talked about Mogwai. Uh, Mogwai, Mogwai, thank you. And uh, thank you for your patience waiting for me to eventually get round to listening to it. Um, I'm, I'm super, super glad I have. Um, 
and I'm most certainly going to be spending some time trying to find some more music from them. Um, I've seen there are there are records available which are uh, a lot less expensive, so more out there, sort of like the eighteen to twenty pound mark. Um, but then they weren't this one, and this is the one I specifically wanted to listen to um, initially because it's the debut and and the one that has excited a lot of people. But uh, there are others, so I shall go on a on a hunt and try and find some more Mogwai to bring to the channel in due course. And even if it's not for the channel, for me, um, absolutely stunning music, incredible. Um, I don't know whether they invented the the genre. Um, Post rock, but um, uh, certainly sort of were and are hugely influential and um, a big, big part of that scene. And it's one that I need to um, investigate a little bit more of because it's one that I really do like. And I didn't realise that I liked it. Well, I did. I knew I liked the music. But I didn't know it was a style, as it were, a, a genre. There's a lot of music from uh, 10 or 15 years ago that I used to listen to um, that is totally of this of this sort of genre. Um, and I talked about it, a little bit about it yesterday. Um, but there is more that I want to discover because I lo I'm not moving away from all the other stuff. I just... I have said on many occasions I kind of like most music. And... Um, I will try anything. I will try anything. Um, and some things don't resonate or connect at all, but other things truly do. And this sort of noise, soundscapey, uh, post rock, uh, the rise and fall, the soft and the quiet, sorry, the soft and the loud, the, the harsh and the, and the gentle, and um, bright and, and, shady just all the different textures with an ebb and a flow and a sort of a, a grow and a, sort of a crescendo and a dropping away again and building back up and i just find it absolutely wonderful i love it absolutely love it um thank you for sticking with it uh i know it's uh taken a little while to get through these and uh we'll be uh, revisiting, well not revisiting, it'll be back onto probably some vinyl next. Um, I'm probably not going to get anything else done this week um, as we are now midway through Thursday afternoon and I've got to edit these yet to get them out. Uh, but um, I was hoping to go out into the wild again, but uh, that's kind of not happened. Everything conspired against me at the beginning of the week. I was going to try and do that on, uh, on Tuesday, but it never happened. Oh well. So there we go. Uh, I'll see you all on the next video, whenever and whatever that is. Um, and until then, this is Jim over and out.